Now we're gonna hook up a sewer discharge hose. It's really simple to do. First, you're gonna find the access to your port, which is gonna have a big black cap on it like this. Make sure both valves are closed, because if they are open, there's anything inside, it'll come out right away. Go ahead and remove your cap. You may get some residual that might come out, but it's, it's gonna be normal, it's okay. Let's go ahead and get your discharge hose. I recommend you getting about 20, 30 feet of this, because some campgrounds you might need longer lengths than others. To hook it up, it's really simple. Get little hooks here, slide it in, turn it, and then locate your sewer um, pipe in the ground at your campground. Most of them are gonna be ground level, flush with the ground. Some stick up a little bit, and our display it's a little higher. Again, you just go in, turn it, lock it in place. Some of your campgrounds might not have anything to lock it in. You just drop the hose directly into the pipe. That's fine too. As you can see, our hose is coming down and then the fluid is going to have to pump up again. That's really not good because you'll have wastewater sitting here, or gray water sitting here. So what you like to do is you can catch these little grates here and make a little bridge. So you can kind of level off your hose. So it flows a lot better. If you're away from it, this can stretch out farther to make a nice even flow. So when you're purchasing your hose kit, you'll have the option to go ahead and get the solid elbow, but they also make this clear elbow. I like using the clear elbow because you can actually see that your tanks are draining. And also when you're draining your black tank, you'll see it coming through. Then when you're doing your flush, running your water through your toilet, you'll see the color of the water change. So it'll go from a darker water to a lighter color. So once it's getting more like a clear water, then you know your black tank's been flushed properly. So you have your black tank valve, and you have your gray tank valve. The gray tank valve is the tank that gets filled from your bath water, your kitchen sink water. It's fresh, soapy water, clean water. Your black is your toilet water. Toilet water, you have to put chemicals inside so it sanitizes it and helps break up the particles that's in there. So you always want to keep your black tank valve closed while you're camping. On your gray side, it's okay if you wanna leave it open. Most campers do that. If they're gonna be camping for several days, just leave the gray open the water will just run out. If you do keep your gray tank valve closed, you just have to monitor the uh, monitor panel inside. So when that tank does get full, you can come release your lever and drain out that water so it doesn't overflow into your bathtub. Here's the monitor panel where you're gonna be able to check your levels. This one here has two gray tanks, a black tank and a fresh. Just push the button above your tank you wanna check and it's empty, one third, two thirds and full. As you can see, this one's empty. Go to gray number two, showing it's empty. Your black tank is empty and your fresh water tank is empty. The bottom one is going to be for your battery level check. You can just push on that and it shows us getting a full charge because we are plugged in. The best way to flush out your black tank, since this trailer does not have a black tank flush, once your black tank is done draining, leave this valve open, go inside and flush the toilet. Let that toilet water run through it in about five minutes. It'll help pick up any particles left over and wash them out. Once you complete that, come on back out. Close your black tank valve one more time, and then go ahead and add some more chemicals to your toilet. 